It's a day in the mountains. The finish isn't decided at the top of the climb, but the route is challenging, and it's an important day for the general classification. We're well placed to take the lead of the general classification. I'm counting on you to give it everything. It's an opportunity we must not miss. We can target a place in the top five today. Have a good day, guys. Go, go! Hello and welcome back to some more Tour de France. This is part eight of our playthrough. Thank you for all of the support on the series so far. Make sure you keep smashing that thumbs up button down below if you are enjoying today. One of the true tests, one of the massive mountain stages. This is going to be tough. We've got the, the dangerous uh, descent after that first climb of the day. We have got uh, the first sprint of the day, um, which... You know, we might want to go with Cavendish, but I don't I don't want to tire Cavendish out too much because he's going to struggle today in the mountains. Uh, so we need to, to be careful, especially because we've got another mountain stage in the next episode tomorrow before that rest day, which we desperately need at this point just to give our guys a breather. But uh, hopefully it'll be all right. We've got some really easy stages coming after that rest, rest day, so it's all going to be about this... Uh, this little uh, stage today uh, and, and how much we can uh, hopefully get out of it um, we've got the highest classification climb and also a time bonus climb as well uh, before the descent towards the finish so I'm really hoping that we can have Lander in the mix towards the end and then he's got that downhill uh, point to the end where I think we're going to we're going to go with him today and hopefully help him out. But uh, hopefully you guys are good. And uh, make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you are enjoying it. Um, last time out we, we did pretty well, I think. You know, we, we managed the stage well. Obviously went in the breakaway with uh, Mahoric. It's going to be a tough decision today of whether we do go in that breakaway. Because in a, in a mountains class, uh, mountain stage we can do it. We can uh, win the, the stage with a breakaway. Uh, I might actually go with, with Puels. Um, let's have a little look at that. Where How far off is he? 8 minutes. Okay. 21 minutes for Toynes. 18 minutes for him. 37 minutes for, for Cavendish. Uh, 19 minutes for Colbrelli. 11 minutes for Mahoric. So, so Puels could actually benefit quite a lot from, from winning this stage from a breakaway standpoint. And that gets us back in it with two riders. So I'm going to go in the, the breakaway with Puels. I think he'll do a decent job in the mountains. The only downside to that potentially is uh, that we need somebody to, to, to protect uh, Lander. I think Bill Bow can do that job. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with that. So we're going to go with Puels today and uh, hopefully finish in that first 15. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this Pyrenean stage. Monte, Bales, Père Sud. These are mountain passes that are regularly scaled by the riders on the Tour de France. Although there might be nothing unusual in the route, we may see the... So straight away, uh, Colbrelli is, is protecting Lander, which is good. Caruso is looking pretty, pretty jaded. That's well, fine. We'll just leave them to do what they want. At the end of this stage. Now, Ala Felix is going to be the the impressive one. The stage is fairly short today, guys, and it's a downhill finish. There's a good chance that it will be high tempo from start to finish. Good luck. There you go, there's the breakaway. The head of the peloton. He's trying so to bridge away. the gap. So a nice uh, a nice getaway for us. I do want to, to kind of risk a breakaway with uh, Lander, but I, I'm not sure whether the the peloton would allow that. So. Counter attack inside the peloton. So we're away. We've already got 40 seconds here. Don't want to use too much energy. So. 
hopefully it'll, it'll all be good. We've got four riders coming with us, so ten rider breakaway. It could work. It could well work. But obviously the Peloton won't let it grow too much. But I'll see you at that first sprint. Well, here we go. Going for the the first sprint of the day. It's going to be tough to sustain this. Going to get some points, but... Did you speed a bit? Otherwise you'll hit the wall. You don't want to push too hard. But uh, that's a nice amount of points in the bag. We know we couldn't get any for Cavendish, but try and stop other people taking a load of points off him. He's an excellent puncher who also knows how to climb in the mountains. On the other hand, it's better for him that he finishes alone because his capabilities as a sprinter really are limited. Try and get as much energy back on those downhill stretches as we can. This is going to be a really tough stage, I think. Is beginning to lose touch. Oh dear, Lander. What's happening to Lander? What has happened to him? I think we need to, to get on top of that and, and get going again. Get him back into the peloton. I'll see you guys when we get to that climb. The Col de Monte is classified as first category. It will therefore earn 10 points for the first rider over the top. Well, five kilometers to go up this mountain, or four kilometers now, sorry. Just trying to. Go as slow as possible up here. We'd like to. We'd like to to do it with Mahoric, but uh, we need to just keep an eye on Lander and make sure that he's making it up here as well. Managed to get him well placed in this group, which I think is good. We'll stick with Van Baal. So three kilometers to go. I think he's going too quick, personally, to last the distance. So you know, this is a controlling pace. Just going to have a quick gander at Lander, and he's 27th, so that's okay. For the moment, let's head back to to Mahorich. And hopefully, Lander's okay. So we've got two kilometers to go, and then I think we want to probably control Lander when we're coming down. From the summit. Breakaway failed, by the way. Uh, as we were coming up, we caught up to the to the breakaway. A little bit more pace, just a little bit more energy. There's Van Baal. Need to score points for the polka dot jersey. It's essential if we want to strengthen our position as leader. So 1.4 kilometers to go. Well, 10 points would be crucial, you would think. Today, it's a nasty little climb. This. There's Garin Thomas. He wants a bit of the action as well. But we seem to be well in control at the moment. Thomas is right there. There's the finish line. Right, let's go. Valverde is Another gone. But I think we're going to be okay. I think we'll manage it just as we get to the top. And there you go. Perfect. That is what you want. Excellent. But now what we need to do is swap to... You increase your lead Lander. on the overall climber standing. 
we know we need to try and get as much energy back here as we can. I think that is this the yeah, this is the, the dangerous descent, so hopefully nothing happens, but uh, I'll see you guys at the bottom regardless. The gap isn't changing much. Right, we're at the bottom, so I think that's uh, that's good. I think that was well managed. So we still got, uh, I think, Mahoric up at the top there. Uh, don't think there's any real need to to, to keep that going. Uh, unfortunately, Cavendish doesn't seem to have uh, regained all his energy from that descent, but. Uh, We've got the feed zone coming up and then that high class climb that is going to be really tough. 30 seconds between the breakaway and the yellow jersey. The head of the race has one and a half minutes lead on the yellow jersey. Well, this is going to be a hugely tough climb. It doesn't seem to be a good day for him. He's being distanced. So we're at the bottom. I think I might actually go with uh, Mahoric here. I don't want to ruin Lambda. Uh, Lambda, sorry. Not Lambda. Uh, Bilbao's actually dropped off a bit, so I'm going to tell Toynes to protect um, okay I'll protect him protect Lander Bilbao's definitely dropped off not entirely sure why I'm gonna put a bit of pace in with Mahoric give him a bit of red gel bit of blue gel move ourselves forward a bit Cobrelli, Puels, Landers up near the front. That's excellent to see. Being reeled in. It will be difficult to withstand the return of the yellow jersey. So there was one man uh, trying to take it all on his own. That was always going to be very difficult. We can see we're well in here. Yeah. The yellow jersey has just joined up with the league group. Going to stick with Benal here. No, we know Ineos are going to be protecting him as much as they can. You're not doing your share of the work, and so the others no longer want to ride. Anyway, we're into the final kilometres. We can forget any ideas of cooperation. So Cavendish has dropped off. I think we're okay here. So, Lander, probably need to up the tempo a little bit. Catch Benal. That seems pretty logical. What we got? Um, we've got the downhill descent. I think we can probably take our blue gel. Whoops, we don't. Right, he needs to protect Lander. He needs to persist without limit. He also needs to take his blue gel. I'm going to tell. Wells to Toynes to Colbrelli to uh, Caruso to Bill Bow can do it as well Cavendish yeah that seems fine right so what we want is for them to catch Benal and I'm gonna stay with them here okay I'll consume a feed so hopefully Lander will catch up to us. That's the plan anyway. The end of the stage is not far off. Stay awake. It will soon start to move in the peloton. So yeah, Lander looks like he's caught up, which is good. You have 30 seconds lead on the yellow jersey. Yeah, everybody's in. Which is perfect. 
That's exactly what I wanted. I wanted everybody to be in this lead group. So that when we get to that downhill period, we can maybe put a bit of pace in. So... Maharaj is looking good. A teammate has just been dropped. You well, can't count on him gone. any longer. That's fine. We can see the, you know, we're getting spread out a little bit here. So seventy-three in this lead group. The leader group. of the general classification does not necessarily have to attack. Depending on his lead, he can simply follow attacks and counter at the very end of the stage. Still got quite a long way to go up this climb. So... It is not always a good idea to be too many in a breakaway, as the others will not necessarily want to cooperate with us. So Mahorich is going to stay with Benal. Where's Landa? Is Landa? Is Landa? Yeah, we're all in this group, which is good. Um, Colbrelli currently protecting. I'm going to switch those duties now to Quells, which is good. And Toynes, could he protect Puels maybe? And then we got a sort of double effect. That could work quite nicely. Okay, I'll protect him. But Mahorich seems to be able to cope with this pace from from this lead group. Given its length, see, and all of us are here. Slopes, the Port de Balès obviously carries all category label. It will earn 20 points for the first rider over the top. It's going to be a toughie. Five kilometers to go. One minute ahead of the yellow jersey. One minute ahead of the yellow jersey. That's not bad. Colbrelli is dropped. That's absolutely fine. Don't need to necessarily worry about Colbrelli. The other guys seem to be there. Now then. 3.3 kilometers to go here. They're putting in a little bit of pace. How's this climb looking? It's going to ease off a little bit and then get steeper again. I think Mahoric might have to drop his pace here. I'm going to just drop to that. Keeps him in contention. But there's Toynes. There's Puels. There's Lander. So I'm going to join the back of this relay. Oh, Thomas is, is not happy to help us out. We'll stick with Lander. There's Benal, you can see. So this little group of 13, very, very useful, especially because the yellow jersey is so far back. You are two kilometres from the summit. Watch your opponents. Just need to keep ourselves some energy we know it's going to be downhill after Keep this an eye on him. he's the best climber in the breakaway we need to score points for the polka dot jersey it's essential if we want to strengthen our position as leader uh, not, not sure we're going to be able to do it Lander's dropping off a little bit here. The breakaway increases its lead on the yellow jersey group. I'm going to blow up. Such a tough climb. You can see the finish line up there. Right. Put 
put in a bit of pace. I know we're going to blow up here. But if we can get some points, that would be great. Are we going to get anything? I don't think so. Here's the positions over the last climb. We've got enough of a points lead for the polka dot jersey. There's no way we can lose it today. Keep it up. That's all right. So just got to be careful on our way down here try and get as much energy back with Mahorich as possible quite a large decline so it's looking good for for Landa at least you know near Bernal obviously we're near him in the the standings the time gap with the head of the race isn't changing lads so just need to try and get as much energy back as possible which will be good. So, might actually go on board with Lander. So, is he nearly at the bottom? No, no, he's still got plenty of descent to go. So, I'll see you guys at the uh, the highest class climb. At, at the, uh, the bonus points climb that we've got coming up. So final climb of the day, you can see we're fast forwarding it a little bit here. We're in uh, this lead group of 19. Yellow jersey is one minute 30 away from you. Three of our guys uh, are up there, Mahorich included. I think Mahorich can uh, follow but not overtire okay. now. If the pace is too fast, I won't insist. So I did try and, and keep the, the sort of loop going. I think he needs to protect a lander. He's gonna follow but not overtire. Okay, I'm coming to protect you. We just we've got three kilometers left. If Lander can win this, this would be absolutely vital, you feel. So Puels follow but don't overtire. And now we're gonna take okay, if charge the of Lander. All the the main contenders are here, other than the the yellow jersey man, Ala Felix. He's two We're minutes two twenty-four back. The Watch your opponent. So let's keep an eye on this. We've got one point eight kilometers to go. People are keep starting to go he for it a little bit. Surely too early. Surely too early. Go for it a little bit. One kilometer from the summit, and nobody's managed to get away on their own. Will someone manage to break clear go. on the way down? He takes the virtual lead of the overall standing. It's a tough one. There's the finish line. Right, we're going to go for it. I know we'll probably blow up, but if we can get second here. Lift your foot if you don't want to Come blow on. Up. Come on. Come on. Rider sits off on the descent. Not quite. So Bernal is the man that has took the lead. He's going on the descent now. The descent We're going to stick with Landa. It will be difficult to change the race situation. Now, I don't know where Bernal is with respect to us. Apparently, we're 34 seconds back from him. Is that him there? I think it may well be. So we gotta gotta be wary here. Can't have him having too big a lead. Oops. Come on. Tell you what we could do with being in this little group. Only five kilometers left for the race leaders. So five kilometers until the finish 
Got a decent amount of energy. This could be pretty strong. Oh dear. Just got on the grass a little bit there. So three kilometers left. Where is Banal? Where is he? It's 27 seconds ahead. There he is. I'm going to take a, a bit of energy out. I'm going to persist a bit. Last kilometer. Here we go. We're going for it. One kilometer from the finishing line. Might have gone too early. Yes, we went we went too early. But we finished fourth and I think that's very, very good actually. Very, very happy with that. Cavendish is uh, well fifteen minutes back actually. Need to be careful he doesn't get not classified, but he should be fine. Um I guess we go for Puels next. He's the next closest. So here he comes to the one kilometre line. So Lander finished fourth. So that's got to be good for the the yellow jersey. Banal is gonna. Have, whoops. Is gonna have a gonna have had a an excellent run. Uh, Toynes is the next one. Uh, he's going to finish 15th, which is awesome. Anybody else? Um, Mohoric is pretty close. He's off now. He's going to finish 23rd. I mean, I think this has been a pretty excellent display from us. Uh, what else have we got? Um, Bill Bow's pretty close. Colbrelli's pretty close. Um, might switch to him. Get him out. A nice little sprint to the finish. Good for him. And that looks like uh, Bill Bow coming through as well. And then uh, we'll just finish the stage, I think. So I just hope Cavendish is, is classified. Not cut from the Tour de France because that would be an absolute disaster. But uh, it was a tough stage that, but I'm really proud that Lander finished fourth. You know, I think maybe if I managed him a bit better towards the end, maybe we could have done a little bit better, but we'll settle for it. Definitely settle for it. The stage is his. He was the strongest. So Banal will probably get the yellow jersey, I would imagine. Or will it be Rodgley? It's going to be one of them. It's Rodgley. So there you go, Rodgley wins the yellow jersey off Alifix. Mahoric, very good stage for him. Cavendish obviously didn't. Uh, didn't contribute much to his his total, if anything. Actually, I can't. I don't think he got any points in the well opening done, sprint. Guys. So we where we should be. We were aiming for a top five spot, and you did the job. I'm happy with that. We retain the green jersey. Well done, guys. So there you go. I think that's going to close everything up now, which is awesome. So Banal won it and obviously got the, the time bonus as well. That's why I was trying so hard to get those time bonuses. But I'm just proud of Lander for, for keeping himself in the mix there. That was really, really strong. 
So if you look at the overall uh, standings, we're 54 seconds behind Rodgelik, um, slightly behind uh, Bernal and Fuglesang, but I think we're in with a great chance of, of winning this. We've got a mountain stage coming up next. We've proved that we can do well on those stages. Mohoric, um, 16 points ahead in the best climber classification. That's all good. Uh, Cavendish, yeah, still got over 123 points uh, in the lead over the other guys. Um, young rider still banal, and uh, we actually take top spot from Team Ineos because of our strong performance in this uh, stage. So it's it's very very strong. And let's have a little look at the recovery. It's very good. So we've got pretty much a fully fit team. Caruso struggling a little bit but uh, almost fully fit for the final mountain stage before that rest day. And then it starts to get a little bit easier for a couple of, uh, couple of stages, so we can maybe take a couple of risks. But uh, there you go. If you've enjoyed that, make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below. It really does help out. It means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel for daily Tour de France content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.